When expensive projects go up in smoke, Houston can seriously have some problems. If you add up all their mistakes throughout the past, you have to think to yourself, is it even worth it to have a space program? It might take some time to develop new technologies, but they're going to come with a price tag and large ones at that. Even though it's rocket science, you'd have to figure that someone wasn't doing their job right. From mathematical errors that cost millions to crashes that cost billions, here are the most unbelievable and expensive NASA mistakes. Number 11. Delta II Explosion With so many dangerous trips to space using rockets carrying so much highly flammable rocket fuel, there's bound to be extremely catastrophic explosions from time to time. Reaching outer space is certainly no easy task if you think about it. The Air Force Delta II rocket was launched from Cape Canaveral carrying an $81 million satellite. This was known as the UGPS-2. This rocket was trying to soar through the skies with roughly 200,000 pounds worth of thrusting power. It was approximately 1 to 2,000 feet in the sky when suddenly an explosion happens. The explosion creates a dangerous gas of hydrochloric fumes. NASA prefers launching pads in isolated areas away from human settlements close to oceans in order to avoid any collateral damage. In this case, only cars in the parking lots and small NASA buildings were destroyed. Number 10. Converting Catastrophe this case proves that even NASA rocket scientists are capable of the simplest mistakes and ended up costing them a whopping $125 million. In 1999, a Lockheed Martin Mars orbiter was lost due to a miscommunication of which units of measurement to use. The navigation team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory used a metric system in meters and millimeters in their calculations, while the people who designed the aircraft in Denver had given crucial instruction information in standard American feet and inches. As a result, the spacecraft was lost in space, then laid in a pile of rubble on the surface of Mars. Instead of entering Mars' atmosphere at a tilted angle, it entered too directly, causing the spacecraft to be ripped into shreds. This goes to show how easily NASA can lose countless hours of research and a potentially useful spacecraft over a preventable error. Number 9. Mars Global Surveyor the Mars Global Surveyor was developed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and eventually launched in 1996. Its main job was to map the entire planet, everything from the ionosphere to the atmosphere and also the surface. Its primary mission began in January of 2001 and it was its third extended mission. Suddenly, the spacecraft failed to respond to both messages and commands. A bizarre signal was picked up a few days later and it turned out that it was in safe mode. Trying to recontact the spacecraft failed and it was left to float around the dark abyss of outer space. The Mars Global Surveyor mission cost $154 million to develop and build, plus an additional $65 million to launch. We suppose it wasn't a total failure since it was able to capture some photos of valleys that were likely formed from liquid water, but it's still a valuable piece of space junk that we'll never get to see again. Number 8. The Genesis when looking for answers about the universe, scientists and amateur astronomers tend to look at the stars. Why not do some studies on the closest one, the Sun? In August of 2001, the Genesis was supposed to help answer a few deep questions about the formation of the universe, but it ended up in a pile of debris in the Utah desert, like you see in this photo. So what happened here? The main reason for the Genesis spacecraft was to collect particles of solar winds and then bring them back to Earth for extensive research. A few things they wanted to look into was the exact ratio of oxygen, nitrogen, and noble gases during various phases of solar activity. Even though the Sun is mostly made up of hydrogen, NASA wanted to know more precisely what elements make up its composition. This would further lead to the origins of the Sun and the planets. So how did this important spacecraft crash? Well, the parachutes did not properly deploy in September of 2004, but they were able to uncover some tiny particles from solar winds. Several pages about these tiny particles have already been published. The total cost of the project, though, added up to roughly $200 million. Number 7. The Taurus XL Rocket and Glory Satellite Trying to get a satellite into space is never easy and sometimes it leads to an expensive mistake. And once you get that satellite up into space, things don't always go according to plan. The Glory satellite was designed to improve the understanding of Earth's climate but went missing in March of 2011. It failed to reach orbit after launch aboard an Orbital Space Corps Taurus XL rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. After an investigation took place, it was determined that the Taurus rocket fairing system failed to fully open and caused a serious mishap. The fairing is basically a clamshell nose cone that contains the satellite once it makes it into the atmosphere. It wasn't fully determined why the fairing system failure took place, but they seemed to learn a few things from the blunder. 
Basically, the satellite failed to separate from the rocket, meaning $424 million down the drain. Number 6. China Hacks NASA uses a large variety of computers, but they apparently don't have the best cybersecurity out there. This is because the Chinese and even the Scotsman Gary McKinnon were able to hack NASA and uncover some secrets. Gary McKinnon claims the entire program of NASA is just a cover-up for a much more advanced space program capable of reaching different planets. Gary McKinnon also states that we now have technology to take ET home. So could China have found out too? In case you haven't been keeping up with the news, China's hacked us quite a bit and even stole our blueprints for the F-35 and used it to create their Shenyang aircraft. In any case, at one point, China had full control over our satellites for 11 minutes. Not only that, but the hackers gained full access to a computer network in NASA's key control center. This network manages 23 aircraft conducting active space missions to places like Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. China gained full access to all kinds of secret information, costing us who knows how much money. There are also a bunch of Chinese nationals wanted by the FBI for their role in hacking USA corporations. Number 5. Skylab the Skylab was launched in May of 1973 and weighed over 75 metric tons. The satellite received heavy damage during the launch from Earth's atmosphere. The damage is measured more in dollars here, really, than human lives. The launch resulted in the loss of the micrometeoroid and sunshield from the main solar panels. It was basically a sitting duck and couldn't generate any electricity, making it pinned down at the space station. NASA recovered some of the pieces, but in the end, the government wasted 3.6 billion tax dollars in this engineering fail. Number 4. The Hubble Space Telescope The Hubble Space Telescope was launched into orbit after eight years of construction. It finally made it to space in 1990 in order to provide clear images of the universe without Earth's atmosphere getting in the way. Here you can see some of the amazing images this miraculous space telescope was able to pick up. It is responsible for some of the best images of outer space we have to this day. But it wasn't just a technical failure that would happen eventually, but also a leadership failure. Old instruments were switched out and new pieces were replaced, hoping to make it even better. They also neglected necessary maintenance that was needed. In August of 2004, the machine became inoperable due to the telescope imaging spectrograph that was installed in 1997. This device combines a camera with a spectrograph and was broken from a power supply failure. Eventually, it was fully repaired, but not after spending years floating around in space, not even sending back images to NASA. Number 3. Moon Landings Erased so possibly one of the most important moments in human history accidentally gets erased by NASA. Oops. The original recording of the moon landing of July 16, 1969, which was the first manned mission to the moon, no longer exists. Don't worry though, new digitally enhanced copies of the original broadcast look much better, claims NASA officials. The first images of Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walking on the moon were very grainy and blurry anyways. In 2006, NASA admitted that no one could find the original video. They then went on to admit that the high-resolution images of the first moonwalk were probably erased for electronic data from a satellite. Who needs old videos of the original moon landing when you got new important satellite images to look at? It was basically like taping over wedding day videos to make room for a rerun of Friends. It's hard to put a price on the original value of these tapes since they're irreplaceable. Number 2. The Challenger Explosion 5.5 Billion being one of the more modern NASA accidents, this one was much more severe than the rest. The mission had originally been postponed due to mechanical and weather issues, but January 28, 1986 was the day when the space shuttle named the Challenger finally launched from Cape Canaveral. Seven crew members were on board, including a teacher from New Hampshire. The lift began smoothly and no one could have predicted what would have happened next. A critical failure in the O-ring seals on the rocket booster allowed a spurt of rocket fuel to ignite the fuel tank. Then suddenly, a huge fireball is seen in the sky after 73 seconds of flight. There were no survivors from the crash, and the incident happened live on TV. Despite the horrible tragedy that took place, many lessons were learned from this incident that will help Americans advance their spacecraft technology in the future. And number 1. Columbia Challenger 13 billion. Despite it being a pretty cool job that many of us dream of, astronauts have a risky job exploring the unknown. When outside the confines of their spaceship, they must wear protective spacesuits or risk dying. The Earth's atmosphere can be pretty dangerous as well, and a fatal accident occurred in 2003 when the Columbia spaceship disintegrated upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere. The crew consisted of seven men and women who were taking a part of Columbia's 28th mission. A piece of foam insulation came off the shuttle's external tank, which crashed into the left wing of the orbiter. Hot atmospheric gases penetrated the heat shield, which destroyed the entire wing structure, causing it to become less aerodynamic and fall apart. 
It all happened so fast that the crew didn't even have time to prepare themselves for the violent descent. Wow, now that was a cool video, wasn't it? Be sure to check out more of my cool videos over here on American Eye. We'll see you there.